On the Health Watch tonight, positive grades from the CDC on this season's flu vaccine. And health reporter Stephanie Stahl joins us now with the report card. Report card from mm -hmm. the feds. New estimates from the CDC suggest the flu vaccine this season has been effective at preventing about half the number of flu-related doctor visits. This season's flu shots seem to be working pretty well. That's according to CDC estimates that say the vaccine has reduced the risk of going to the doctor for flu-related illnesses by 47% overall this season. The effectiveness is even higher among children between the ages of 6 months to 17, reducing doctor visits 61%. Numbers can change between now and the end of the season. The important thing is that the vaccine is providing some protection against the viruses that are circulating. The CDC says H1N1 is the predominant strain of the virus so far this season nationwide, although H3N2 is the primary strain in the southeast. And even though flu activity is lower than it was at this point last year, it is still responsible for somewhere between 155 and 186,000 hospitalizations and 10,000 to 16,000 deaths. That puts it on track to be a season with a substantial number of deaths. It's likely to rise. Um, we also see 28 pediatric deaths so far this season. That's also unfortunately likely to rise. Health officials add that after a slow start, flu activity has been picking up in the past few weeks and is now at the highest it's been all season. They stress if you haven't received a flu shot yet, there's still time. Now, last season, when the predominant strain was H3N2, the CDC estimated 80,000 Americans died from flu and its complications. That was the deadliest toll from flu in 40 years. This year, fortunately, nowhere near that. We're having a pretty much good better. flu season. Much, yeah, much better. better. Mm. Thank you, Steph. Mm -hmm.